Orion has been updated to the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So to get it, you want to head over to their official GitHub page, which is going to be linked down in the description below. Together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, you want to look for the most recent version in this releases tab that works for 1.21.2x. Once you've found it, you want to simply open up this assets area and then click on this Borion.dll link and that'll automatically download the DLL file for you. Anyways, now as you can see in my downloads, I have the Borion DLL file. However, because this is just a DLL and not a launcher in and of itself, you need an injector to be able to inject this. I highly recommend Fate Client Injector. If you don't have this yet, then I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, here I can simply click on select, go over to my downloads, select the Borion DLL file, click on inject, and here we have Borion, as you can see. So, that's great, and I'll now just go into a single player world, and I'll show you how to use this. So in terms of usage, I'm just going to be showing you how to get started. If you want the full in-depth tutorial on how to use Borion Client, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, if you haven't done so yet, I would also greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. Anyways, starting off, to open up the Click GUI, you want to press on the Insert key on your keyboard. This is often going to be labeled with some like INS. If you want to change this, or if you, for example, don't even have an Insert key on your keyboard, you want to open up the chat, type dot .bind, just like this, click GUI, and then any key you want, for example, F. And now the keybind of Click GUI is F, so I can press on F to open and close the Click GUI area, as you can see. As for the Click GUI, all of these things here are categories, and they all have different utilities that this client has. You can click on them to turn them on, and click on them once again to turn them off. On all the utilities that have a plus, which is all of them, you can right click and then you'll get a little bit of a customization menu for the specific utility. All of these have custom customization menus and some of them will have more and some less. As you saw me just do, you can actually scroll in some of these sections. Make sure you don't miss out on that because as you can see there's a lot more utilities down here. For the rest, hovering over these utilities is going to give you a brief description. And that's basically it. It should be pretty self-explanatory. There is one more thing I want to look at though, and that is the HUD. This is basically everything that can show up on your screen. I can right click on this to open up the customization menu, and as you can see, there's a lot of things this client can display on your screen, and I highly recommend looking into this and using some of these. I'll turn it on real quick, and now, as you can see, I have a bunch of things on my screen. Sometimes this is also enabled by default, I don't know why it wasn't right now. Anyways, as I said, you can customize all of this, so maybe I want to turn off the watermark, and I also want to turn off the show keybinds, turn off the keystrokes. Now, as you can see, there's already a lot less things over here. Of course, you can tune it exactly to how you want. One thing I do want to pay some extra attention to is the tab GUI, which is a thing in the very top left. You'll notice it has the same categories as up here, and basically, this is the same as the click GUI, except that you can use your arrow keys to navigate it. As you can see, some people prefer this to uh, this click GUI over here. Personally, I don't use it, but maybe you'd like to do so. Anyways, for the rest, of course, as I said, customize this HUD however you want. It has some really useful features, so don't miss out on that. Anyways, for the rest, as you saw earlier, um, some stupid person joined my world. Oh well. Uh, the keybind of click. I, I I basically use the command right to set a bind uh, to a module, and this client actually has more commands like that. To find out about these, simply type dot help in chat, and you'll get a list of all of the commands that this client has, with their descriptions as well. Now, some of these commands, like dot give and stuff like that, they're not going to work in multiplayer, okay? Um, actually, I think this client might have actually removed them altogether because they don't, oh, no, they're still there. 
They don't work in multiplayer. You don't need to ask. It's probably never coming back. Except, actually, I've heard that it might. Uh, but that's for another day. Anyways, basically, what you want to do here, if you still don't know, if you want to use a command, but you still don't know how to use it, uh, you can simply type .give, for example, in chat, and then it'll give you the exact usage of the command so that you know how to use it and uh, how to make it give you the stuff you want in this case anyways for right now though basically uh that was that thank you ever so much for watching and i do of course hope to see you again in the next one Bye bye